Spencer be making heats. What is going on, Pimps? It's your boy, Zayton Fit. Bring you back with another YouTube video here today. And as you see, we are in a completely new setup. That's because we finally made the fucking move to Florida. Now, don't get it fucked up. I've only been here for like two, three days. So my shit is looking a little rough right now. But I'm gonna take you on a quick apartment tour. I'm just gonna like really just show y'all kind of like the layout type shit. And then Friday, hopefully Friday or Saturday, everything should be done. So next YouTube video, I'm gonna show you like smooth, like complete setup, decorated all. I'm telling you, bro, this shit's gonna be so tough. And so you walk into the crib. So right here, we got our kitchen. All this miscellaneous small shit will be put up by the end of tonight. Then we have like this weird bookshelf that I kind of don't know what to do with it, but I'm putting decorations. I do have two books though, never fucking opened them. Then we walk into our live room. As you know, my couch is a lot bigger. I have another small part of that section right there. I don't know why it's not focusing, but that bitch is out on the balcony. That'll be my last thing I'm gonna show y'all because that shit is fucking sick. But we had to take one piece out. So we got our couch right here. I'm gonna have a rug, a table, everything like that. We're probably gonna get a new TV stand once we kind of get all the shit out of the way. Ignore all that shit right there. We literally just got our TV hung up yesterday. Then once we leave the living room, then you walk into my room. You already see that game set up. That shit's already right. So we got a lot more shit we're gonna add to that. I'm gonna add some things and make it a little bit more organized, make it look nicer. We got our bed right here. Then we got our TV stand right here. We got our candle on top because you're never gonna be caught lacking, you know what I'm saying, whether or not a scented room. We got a TV right here as well. And then we also have our mirror. This mirror is hella tiny in this apartment. Lex is looking kind of crazy though. But we're gonna have a new one, hopefully by tomorrow. That shit's gonna be fucking massive. It's gonna go all the way up to up here, probably like out here. So it's gonna be good for like photos and content and shit like that. And then I know y'all peeped that shit from the side, woo woo woo, but yes, sir. We got the clean ass view of downtown Fort Lauderdale. Now, low key, don't get it fucked up though. These parking garages, low key, kind of killed the vibe. But this shit right here is so beautiful. Never did I think ever in my life I was ever gonna be able to live in a place on the almost a like 20th fucking floor. And if you look around there, kind of squint your eyes. I know it's not focusing. You can see Fort Lauderdale Beach. All right, but walking out of the room, we're gonna go to the closet, which my bed is literally right here. Our closet is right here. This shit is low key kind of chest because I have so many fucking clothes and I gotta give a lot of them away and I'm gonna give a lot of them away to y'all and I'll get into that right after this. And walking out in the closet, we have our bathroom. We have our shower right here, toilet right here. And then we have our two mirrors right here. It's everywhere, like I said. Put all my organizer shit off Amazon, so hopefully this whole bathroom will be almost completely set up by Sunday. All right, and then we have our final thing, which I'm most honestly excited about, I can't lie, which is our balcony, bro. Holy shit, look at this, gang. Isn't this shit crazy, dog? That shit looks like a helicopter pad. Hopefully like I get to see some helicopters flying in and shit. But yeah, bro, look at this view. It's fucking gorgeous out here. Like I said, the view is like not crazy with the parking garages, but like, bro, we got some palm trees right there. I get to see a nice little view. And then we also get to see a good portion of downtown Fort Lauderdale and kind of what it's looking like. Weekends, this whole street is gonna be teed the fuck up. I live right next to like hella bars, restaurants, and everything like that. So all this right here is gonna be completely slam packed on the weekend. Yeah, man, this is pretty much the new crib in Florida. We finally made the move. I feel so thankful. It's actually pretty insane like i was literally just thinking about it. like dog literally just a few years ago i was working construction working at duck and donuts and all it did is just take me working out in the backyard and recording on a phone and posting it to lead up to all of this gang at 24 years old so i just want to let y'all know like don't give up bro you never know what you have in store for yourself as long as you just keep being persistent bro persistent and consistency is how you make it in life like motivation can only go so far gang once you stay consistent and persistent on everything bro like you just take no for an answer, bro. You just take no for an answer regardless of what life is throwing at you, bro. You'll be so surprised on what you can do. I remember at one point, like literally just a few years ago, I didn't even have a car and I couldn't buy a car. And now I'm living in some place like this, bro. And it's all really because of y'all like supporting me watching these videos. So I just want to sit here and say like, also give y'all some yeah, word of advice, but also say thank you, bro. Like this shit is like, it's weird. Like I still don't feel like this is meant for me. You feel what I'm saying? Like I still, like don't get me wrong, I worked hard and like worked my ass off to get here, but it shit still don't feel real cause it's like the younger me would have never believed where we're at right now. Shit, even like a year ago, you know, I would say I'd have been like, fuck no. But like, bro, being in this position we are now to have a place like this, something that like, I never thought I would have, bro. Like this is some shit like I thought I would see on like TikTok. And to be able to live in a spot like this now, it's, it's just weird. It's a very good, very satisfying feeling, but at the same time, it gives me a hell of motivation. And I hope from some of my young audience watching out there that this shit gives you motivation too. Like, bro, stay fucking consistent, dog. Stay consistent, stay doing your thing, because I promise you, bro, you'll never believe some of the shit you can achieve later on in life. All right, so let me, let me tap in, let me get out my feelings real quick. 
So these two boxes right here are gonna be part of the giveaway I'm gonna be doing for Black Friday for Young LA. Black Friday is gonna be the 26 for Young LA. I think my code is gonna give you about 30 to even up to 40% off on mostly all the items on the website. So my code is gonna give you a discount on literally every single thing. Next YouTube video, I'm gonna do just a Black Friday video, just showing you what I personally think is the best items for me, what I bought, because I didn't buy everything, and then also the quality, and if I, if I think it's worth buying or not. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in to this grocery haul. So right now, what I'm trying to to do is I'm gonna try to maintain a pretty decent lean body fat percentage. So probably around that 10 to possibly even high 9% obviously for my job for social media. And we are about to start blasting again soon. Uh, in my last video, I kind of covered on what I'm kind of thinking about when it comes to the terms of my cycle. Uh, I'm not gonna go over it too much in this YouTube video. If you wanna go see that, go to my last one. And uh, yeah, so hopefully in this next, like I would say 10 to 12 weeks, our physique changes a lot. I'm expecting it to, especially with this new diet and also um, with this new training routine and cruise that I'm about to do or cycle at least. So everything for my grocery haul to be able to support me and this is what I'm gonna be basically having. But number one, we have our Rice Krispie Treats. I'm bringing these shits back because one, they're easy to eat. I'm always busy, especially moving into this new place. I'm basically gonna be busy every single day. So it's quick, on the go, easy, 90 calories. I'm obviously smashing like five or six of these. So easy calories in, get a good pump before I lift, especially with my lack of sleep and how much I've been walking. I've been averaging around 15,000 steps a day. So my pumps have not been that good, especially because my food's been a little low because I've been so busy. So I'm trying to find something that's a little bit more conservative with my time. Really nothing, easy snack as well, especially when I, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna, mm, fuck me, I'm about to fucking punch a hole in my wall. Number two, we have our popcorners because y'all do know I'm a professional fat ass. I've been kind of craving chips lately, especially with, like I said, with me being on the go so much, sometimes I can't actually sit down and eat my meals. So right now I'm eating popcorners or these Rice Krispies as kind of like a snack, um, just because it's helped me a lot because I've been crazy busy and I just I honestly have been able to sit down like twice like pretty much for the past two weeks to actually eat because of moving clients etc and everything like that but hopefully shit kind of calms down starting by next week and me getting this place done but now getting into the protein section we have our turkey bacon so obviously around three to four slices of these every single morning for me I've been doing that for pretty much the past like six months next we have our chicken sausage right here I usually have one or two links um, pretty much almost every single day on top of my turkey bacon. This shit actually goes crazy and the macros on that is actually pretty cracked. So I would definitely recommend trying that out. And I've only ever seen them at Costco. So if you don't have a Costco membership, definitely try that shit out. Cause this right here was like $170. And like, I actually have like a good amount of stuff. Like this is gonna last me for a minute. Next we have, of course, our chicken breast bodybuilder central. So this is like a fat ass thing. I literally think this is like maybe four to five pounds and it was only like 30 bucks. So this right here is gonna last me a long time. I am a little tired of chicken. I can't even cap, but I still want to kind of implement it in my diet a little bit more. And we also got salmon. So unfortunately this Costco over here doesn't have cut up pieces of salmon. So I'm just gonna have to cut this one up. Uh, usually I eat salmon about once or twice every single day. Good for fish oils. It tastes amazing. It's way better than chicken. Uh, good protein source, you know, great fat source. So this is definitely like one of the main plugs when it comes to my diet. Next we have our white sticky rice, which is going to be our sushi rice. We've been rocking this for probably about a year now. I love this rice right here in the macros on it are not too bad when it comes to the terms of calories. It's pretty decently low in calories for at least what it is and the amount that you get in my personal opinion. We also have our egg whites, another very low calorie, high protein source. I pretty much have been mixing this every single morning depending on recipes, especially if I have my protein French toast, which I don't have every day, but I probably have you know three to four times out of the week and I use my egg whites. And on top of that, we also have our whole eggs. As you see, I'm already ran through half of these. I have been in this apartment for about two days. I think this is actually my third day today. So I only got very small groceries. I literally was eating literally turkey and rice. That's it with ketchup. It was fucking whack. <laughs> Next, we have our vegetables. So this is gonna be the mixed vegetables. I got this uh, last full day of eating as well. The macros on this is pretty good as well. It's 85 grams for only 40 calories. So you can low key stack this shit with that salmon, that rice and this together, crazy. Next, we have our Gatorade Zeros because I'm trying to get in the habits of like drinking more juices and water instead of just soda. I drink water, but I also drink sodas. I've been kind of calming it down a little bit. I've been having like one to two a week, but recently, 
recently, since I've been on the road with traveling, everything like that, I've been drinking more sodas and I can see a difference in my skin and also just the way I feel. So I'm trying to just go something that has that nice, like sweet taste to hopefully help me out. But yeah, so this is basically what we're gonna be tagging with for probably the next few months when it comes to the terms of groceries. All right, let's go ahead and dial in and get ready for the gym. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be mixing candy watermelon non-stem, so Pump Daddy by Rise, code Zay as always, if you fuck with me, twin, because I want a crazy back day because I haven't lifted back in probably about a week, week and a half. We're gonna be going two scoops of that shit today to put that shit on me, you feel me? No diddy. And then we're gonna get some Gatorade Glacier Cherry and mix it with that. And that honestly should cook. And of course, you already know I'm running DMA and also Tadalafil with Research Chem Code Zay as well. I swear to God, I wanted to actually yak. That was fucking gross. My God. This shit tastes like a pink Starbucks. I can't even lie. All right, so this is the fit that I think I'm going to be rocking with for Black Friday. So these camo shorts that dropped for Young LA are low-key mass slept on. I'm not going to lie. I was one of them niggas that kind of slept on that shit too. But this this outfit is not bad. Also, this jacket is going to be for Young LA Black Friday, so the 26th as well. This is not really like a Gold's Gym collab. I don't even think there's anything on the back for real. I mean, there's slight shit on the back for real, but it's nothing crazy. So this jacket is more like kind of my plain jacket type of people that don't really care about the goals drop first so for reference i'm xl on tops also for the shirts these shorts are also largest and i'm pretty sure these shits are going to also be restocking the 26 as well just got this shit cleaned the other day because my shit was looking so raggedy i literally had to drive my shit from jacksonville all the way to fort lauderdale which is a four and a half hour drive yo just got it clean yesterday are you fucking kidding me? That's 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 crazy work, gay. How am I supposed to drive around here with these fine ass Hispanic milfs with some fucking bird shit on my shit, bro? My shit still gonna sound good though. Yeah. My favorite things about being in a parking garage is listening to my car as I'm leaving this bitch and as I'm turning that shit on. I look like such a fucking dick. <laughs> Alright twins, we finally made it to the gym after this long ass day. We're finally tapping into back. So for men's physique, okay, lats are extremely important. Not even a men's physique, just competing in general and having a nice flow and symmetry to your physique. So how I do my back days is kind of what I'm working on when it comes to my back. My back lacks depth, okay? And in men's physique, that is very important. Look at Ryan Terry, very thick, very detailed back, okay? And right now, that is a very big thing when it comes to men's physique. One of my best attributes is my lats to my physique. That's one of the reasons why I have a good flow to my physique and then after this workout I will go ahead and give y'all some information on posing and everything like that don't get me wrong I'm not looking like a men's physique pro right now but hey, hey give me like six months I'll be back tap in I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with some straight arm lat pull downs do about two sets of a warm-up really just stretch and get some blood in the back before we start going crazy realistically I would like to use a long rope attachment for these just because I feel like I can get a little bit of a better of a stretch especially when it comes to a little bit more of a range of motion of coming down on the rep but since we don't have a long cable attached as that I know of at this gym this is my first time at this gym we're gonna also do some pull-ups and just do about you know around like six to eight just to get a little blood in the back before we begin my back days have to be like pretty much the hardest days out of the week just because that's what I'm usually lacking on when it comes to like my stage shots and everything like that that's what I was missing out on the most when it comes to thickness in my back today's back day is gonna be heavily row focused to build that thickness in my upper back and also my lower lap. Uh, I'm gonna do wide grip uh, so I can feel that lower back just a little bit more. Ooh. Ah. Go ahead, Pete, the back of the shirt. Gold's Gym collab, jumping for a Black Friday, Young LA on the 26th. I'm a size XL. Uh, this is the red, white, and black combo. That pump product already kicked it in. My back already feels like hella solidified already. So go ahead and tap into the first set. What this is kind of gonna be looking like, I'm probably gonna do about three sets of 12 to 15. My fourth set is gonna be to a four and failure. So essentially about two or three reps shy from failure. You wanna get like very optimal reps. Like I don't even like going heavy on these, right? You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to fo focus on that muscle, my connection, getting a good contraction, getting a good stretch. I'm not really worried about weight. And I feel like once I started these, is when my lats really started blowing up. I wanna over exaggerate pretty much every single rep. <laughs> And this is also what helped me build better muscle mind connection in my back. Row-wise, I still need to get better. 
but the stretch on these and get that muscle my connection on my lower back and my lats helps a lot Just doing these in the beginning every one of my back days bro game changer Shit. Damn, my back is already burning. Low key, I'm trying to get this shit done quick because, gang, I'm telling you, it is only like 4.30, but I feel like it's like 10.30 right now. I could generally go to sleep for 10 hours. We've been so busy, and plus I want to go to the apartment, knock all the rest of the shit I have out and kind of be able just to relax tonight after editing all my videos. Ah. 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 Damn, I'm telling y'all, bro, straight on that pull-down at the beginning of your back days, it's just undefeated. Last set of these right here. So this is gonna be that form failure set. So I'm really not going for like the number of reps. I'm really just going to like the feel. So once I feel like my form is about to fall off, like two or three reps shot from failure, I'm gonna call it right there. And then we're gonna move on to another rolling motion so we can kind of go ahead and get started into the thickness of the back, especially while I still got energy. I like these because they don't take too much out of me. <clears throat> failure or not. Ah. Slow and control every single rep. Over exaggerate if you got to. Get that good stretch because I'm telling you. When you're done with your workout and you do that, you're gonna see a big difference in the way you feel. The goal is to do less, but get more. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had left of me right now. So once I feel like my phone is about to fall off, I just drop that shit, let it go. You know what I'm saying? So now I can save more energy, you know, for my next exercise. Cause we still got more to tag into when it comes to the lap. For my first row in motion, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Smith Machine rows. On these, I'm actually gonna go slightly pretty heavy. Probably around that three sets of eight to 10 range. After that, we're gonna move on to another cable motion to really kind of like really just pull everything together. And I'm gonna go a little bit lower in weight, uh, more pause reps, uh, sets of failure as well but I want to try to include at least one heavy row motion um, for both of my back days so as I get back into the point of starting my cycle again I'm gonna run three back days um, so the last one though the third day is strictly just gonna be rows so it's only gonna be two exercises and I'm only gonna do around six sets six to four sets so nothing crazy at all but I do want to start including a uh, heavier uh, rowing motions in my back days because I was going relatively pretty light sometimes just switch shit up you know what I'm saying catch a vibe see what best works for me all right so my first set I'm gonna be doing a 45 and a 10 I'm not very strong when it comes to my row motion especially since boxing I lost a lot of strength so I feel like this would be a good type of weight range for me to get to that 8 to 10 like I'm looking for especially when it comes to trying to keep my form my form usually falls off pretty heavy when I do a uh, rowing motion so that's kind of why I've been sticking to Smith machine a little bit more Again, good squeeze, nice tempo. Actually, the weight was actually pretty light. It felt pretty good. I tried to make the most out of it. Whoo, shit. Definitely could go a little bit higher, but I want to make sure I don't put too much of my ego in here. So we're, we're in our last set of these. So I put 25s on there. Um, so I think I have a five and a 10 and a 25, just cause I'm a little lazy. I don't feel like switching off the rates and shit like that. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I guess that's 225 on there, which I feel like is a pretty decent jump for me. For this last set right here, I'm gonna go reps of a six to eight instead of that eight to 10 range. Cause this is a little bit heavier than what, you know what I'm saying, usually what I do. So I'm gonna try to get six to eight rep range. And then after this, we're probably gonna go back to one more row motion uh, because our last thing in lats is gonna be our lower lats. Um, and so I'm gonna do one more row motion I'm gonna do with the cable this time and we're gonna go a little bit lighter in weight. Mm, yeah, this feels heavy. Okay, let's dial it. 
Yes, sir. Ooh, that was perfect. Perfect weight. Eight reps. Ooh, that was beautiful. Whoo. Yes, sir. What a beautiful set. Moving on to our rower motion, we're gonna go tables. I'm gonna be using this type of attachment. I don't know what the fuck this shit is called. But again, like I said earlier, I'm gonna be going for more lighter reps and I'm going for that 12 to 15 rep range. So for these, we're actually, this shit actually might be broken, bro. Nigga, is this shit broken? We got a new attachment. I'm gonna go with this like wide bar. I don't know what the fuck this shit is called, to be honest, but I know how to use it. That's really all that matters to me. So. We're gonna get a, make sure we get a good stretch. One to two second pause on each rep. And again, 12 to 15. I do like cables, like the cable, like rowing motion, because I feel like my muscle mind connection when it comes to certain machines isn't that good. But then when I do these, especially depending on what attachment I use, I always get like the best muscle mind connection. And like, I feel like back is such an important thing when it comes to men's physique, that you wanna make sure you're building a good muscle mind connection, especially around a good training routine. Back is one of those muscles where it's extremely hard to train correctly. I'm still learning as well. But then when you grasp it and you understand how to train back, it's very complex. But it, I mean, I'm one of those people and I'm still learning, I still got a lot to go. My back is nowhere near good, especially when it comes at a pro physique level. But I feel like I've made a lot of progress in this short time. I've definitely lost a lot since being off cycle, boxing and everything like that. But I feel like my back has made extreme improvements, especially my lats. Like my lats is like one of the strongest things when it comes to my physique. Ooh, all right, we got a last set of these. So this is gonna be our failure set right here. So basically just going all out, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this is really where that growth really comes from. And this is what sets you apart from other competitors, other you know bodybuilders, other people's physiques. Like this is what I feel like is what's necessary for your training days is going to failure. But you know what I'm saying? That could be just me, but I feel like mentally it just pushes you further to keep, you know what I'm saying, folks on a progressive overload. Like I real feel like progressive overload is a lot of mental type shit. Uh. So even though we're going to failure, we want to make sure we still keep our form intact. I feel the growth already. <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna be honest, that shit's fucking ass. But it's shit that you need to do that is necessary. Whew, that shit. That shit got me out of breath. I'm getting out of shape. Last movement of the day. We're gonna focus on the lower lats. Let's try to build a nice lower back which does a lot when it comes to men's physique. After that, I'll run over a quick posing session. Also, things that I feel like are extremely important when it comes to flow and symmetry of your physique for men's. And then we're gonna call it a day. Go back to the crib. We got a lot of editing to do, a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of work to do. Woo, shit. So for what we're gonna do right here. So we're gonna do underhand lat pull downs. We're gonna go pretty decently light on these. Three sets, 12 to 15, work on that lower back. Really want to engage that. Um, and just try to get a good stretch, slight pause at the bottom. These are honestly a necessity for me. My lower back is pretty trash, I gotta be honest, especially because I hold a lot of body fat naturally there. So this is something that I like to target a lot when it comes to my, my back days. And I honestly, I don't go too heavy, but I like to get a good stretch, a good pause. And I do this around three times a week, or at least I used to, and I want to get back into it three times a week because I've seen a huge difference in my lower back doing these. Ah. <laughs> oh, you girl, it feels so right. A little shimmy for me. I'll put you along. Ah. 
It's probably like my favorite exercise when it comes to my lower back. It just feels like I get the best muscle in my connection, the best pump there. And I see a huge difference in my lower back when I started running these. And they've been out for a while, so it's nothing that I have done crazy, but I love these right here. Last set of these, I didn't really cover them too much just because I need to get out of here. I got a lot of shit I need to do. I kind of want to go through this workout. And then also we're going to sit down, talk about, I feel like what is the most important things for men's. So we got another set to three sets of 12 to 15. And then we're pretty much going to call it there. Head back to the crib, finish off the night. Nice stretch. A slight pause. in the back today Whew. I'm 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 feeling it pimps I'm tired as hell barely any sleep in the past week and a half alone so let's go ahead dial in so we're gonna meet but when it comes to men's physique right this is a pretty boy contest it's all about who has the best flow best symmetry their physique who is posing the best i feel like a lot of people underestimate conditioning and posing flow and posing and really just overall again just posing the straight just posing right so when it comes to men's physique right and you go out here into a pose however you do it whether you do both hands off one hand on both hands on you know well the one things that really work for me is the one hand on right that usually shows my shape usually the best right because it helps with me my when I feel like when I put both hands on I'm not full you have to have really round muscle bellies and a very good V taper and be extremely full to be able to do both hands on in my personal opinion even if you are doing it from the side right but for me both hands on is more for that tall or lengthier look which I did have until I put on more muscle mass and filled my frame out and then the one hand on was pretty money for me you know what I'm saying keeps my chest very full I actually lack pretty heavy in biceps so it helps out a little bit with there my delts look a little bit thicker especially on this hand on and it just makes my V taper appear a lot more I can kind of push down and sink my waist in a little bit more into like my hand and kind of give that illusion of my V taper being a lot better than what it actually is so for men's physique you want to have a very thick and full round chest okay that is all going to be yes obviously it's going to be genetics but also that's going to be tagging your upper chest incline 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 you want to make sure you're building that thick ass upper chest with incline dumbbell smith machine um really machines are okay i just feel like for me personally i don't get the best contraction and most machines i've least seen for incline they're usually not that good right i personally like free weights and smith machine i always like to include a free weight incline bit, uh, dumbbell bench into my chest days because I feel like that's what helps me the most when it comes to targeting my upper chest and then I usually do a finisher a smith machine another big one lats lats play a huge role when it comes to your V taper right huge so that's why I went over and did my straight arm lat pull downs and then I also did you know my underhand lap pull downs for my lower back so when you go into that mid z pose you have a lot of detail in that lower back which it's actually like pretty hard to get a lot of that is yes based off genetics but also that base that's a lot of based off like muscle maturity time and everything like that and i lack that heavy even right now um i just like the heavy it just comes with more experience putting on more muscle having that muscle for a little bit longer and yeah so that's another big thing obviously conditioning has to be on point when you're competing on stage right 
has to be on point. Make sure you're getting a good coach. Take your time when it comes to your coaches. Don't be afraid to go lead, even a little bit more expensive route. If you're very, very serious about it, if you spend the extra bread, who fucking cares? Spend the extra bread, get a good coach, go on social media. I don't want to hear that you can't find a good coach. There's amazing coaches all on social media. Do your research, tap in, ask some of their past clients, some of their current clients, how they were as a coach, how they go were responding, how did they feel being on their meal plan, training program, and everything like that. If you're really serious about it, you will do that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's another huge, 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 huge thing, right? Another one, really, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's the biggest thing. Um, now, like I said, I could be wrong, is arms, right? So obviously you don't want to walk up there with some skinny ass arms. You have fucking massive delts and a massive chest, right? You want them to be decently proportioned. But what, for, what I've noticed, and I could be wrong, all of us have our different opinions. I feel like men's physique now, especially at the higher level, is starting to go to a point where they like that smaller arm type of look. You know, when they're very fucking like just massive, a big ass chest, big delts, wide, but it's not like, underdeveloped arms, but a little bit of like that lengthier, more aesthetic look that men's physique used to be. Not going up there with some massive arms like Brandon Henderson and, you know, just look fucking huge. Like he looks like he'd be a classic guy type shit. You feel me? But then you look at somebody like Aaron Banks. I guess you could say Ryan Terry, but his arms are pretty nice too, but he's not overly massive. His arms are not overly big. They might be slightly underdeveloped when it comes to his back and chest and delts, but they're still right there and they have a nice aesthetic look. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think is kind of where men's physique is going. So with my arms, my arms lack, not my triceps. My triceps only hit once a week. They're very big genetic strong point for me. Biceps, I do three times a week, you know, pretty relatively light volume because I feel like you don't need a lot of volume for your biceps to really grow in a sense. Um, and yeah, back, another thing. Oh. But really, arms is not something I'm truly, truly worried about. Now, when it comes to the back, obviously, like I said, you want a thick, full back. Look at Ryan Terry's back. Obviously, probably one of the best backs on that stage. Of course, he's obviously Mr. Olympia. But that doesn't mean he has the best, you know what I'm saying, back or chest on stage. So you want to make sure you build a good depth in your back. Uh, rows, obviously. Um, obviously, we already went over lats and everything like that. Um, and that's just going to come again with time. You training your back correctly, pushing yourself progressively over overload, going to failure, getting a good coach, and shit like that. My back lacks, so I train it about three times a week, relatively light volume, nothing to really kind of overtrain myself to a point where it's killing more muscle gains than what I'm actually gaining. You feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to that men's physique look, what you want to be looking for is a very wide physique that is genetics, okay? You either got it or you don't. Bodybuilding is one of those sports, you either got it or you don't. I'm sorry if y'all you know don't want to hear that. It doesn't mean you still can't do great in shows or even win a show, but it comes to going to that very high level, you can only outwork genetics so much. You can't, it will never happen, I'm sorry. So men's physique look, you really want that nice wide V taper, right? Big shoulders, you know, wide clavicle, small waist, big lats, chest. You need a thick full chest. You will not see anybody on that Mr. Olympia stage placing good at least with not a thick full chest, okay? So take that accountability as well. Most of the stuff is obviously genetics, but it doesn't mean you still shouldn't be a pussy and you fucking give up, okay? Fuck that shit, bro. Keep working hard. Be the best version of a bodybuilder that you possibly be because you never know. It's wide clavicles, small waist, thick full chest, round shoulders. You don't want them to too, too big to the point where it's kind of like synthetic almost. You want just a nice float of physique. Men's physique is finally trying to go back to that pretty boy type of look. Obviously, it's still not there yet because everybody's still massive, but it's getting there. You know what I'm saying? It's slowly becoming that and I do think the next two to three years it's going to dial down even more. So hopefully this helps some of y'all. If y'all want me to go more in depth and make like a complete separate video, I apologize. I'm a little everywhere right now just because I'm moving. I'm here later. It's just, I got a lot of shit going on. Um, you know, so if you want me to go more in depth with that, Please feel free to let me know and I can do that more. I love making this style of content even though, you know what I'm saying, I'm not really bodybuilding like that hard anymore. But yeah, man, so after that clean ass rant, I'm about to go back to the crib. We're going to get some shit done and I will see y'all in a second. Whew. All right, so we finally made it back. I have been cleaning up my place basically this whole time. I low-key laid on the couch. Next thing you know, I wake up an hour and a half later. I am so fucking exhausted. The week of moving was Awful, bro. It is nighttime, so look at the view at night. Look how beautiful this shit is, gang. I mean, you literally just can't make this shit up. Look at that. I am so excited for this new journey that we're approaching and working on right now. 
and I just want to be better, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to be better for y'all. I want to be a better man for myself. I just want to be better all around in every area of life. Moving to this place has kind of unwoken. Like, it's not even motivation. It's more like determination and willpower to get exactly what I want. You have that mindset and you apply it to like regular day life, you'll be very surprised on like how far it gets you. And it doesn't mean money. It doesn't mean success. It doesn't mean women. It just really is just about the determination of your mindset changing of who you are to things like this. Like, bro, I am blessed. This is fucking beautiful. I never thought I'd be able to live a life like this, bro. Like, y'all gotta, y'all don't, I don't think some of y'all understand, like, my life and who I used to be, bro. Like, I bet there's one of my homeboys down here that knew me when I was literally still working at Dunkin' Donuts, who I've been chilling with. And, like, bro, like, I used to be like a little crash out dog. Like, I used to be wild, bro. I had issues. I had anger issues. Me and my brother talked about that shit on that fucking 21 hour drive. Like, I used to crash out, dog. Like, I, I couldn't control my emotions. I was doing dumb shit. I was in a mix of wrong people. And I fucking changed that shit bro i changed the outcome for myself i changed the outlook of life i was so angry because things were going my way but i had to realize i just needed to be better you know what i'm saying i needed to be better and every day i wake up with that sin of that i need to be better bro and i hope y'all apply that shit and i really hope that y'all are taking something away from this video like I, my whole perception of content changed right it, it changed to I low-key wanted to just blow up. I wanted to pop off. I wanted to make money. I wanted people to know who I am. I wanted fucking bad bitches. I wanted to be on yachts. I wanted fucking crazy ass cars. And now I just want to make a change, bro. Like that's really what I want to do. I want to make a change, obviously with myself. I want to, I want y'all to follow me the journey of becoming the best fucking man I possibly can be. Like anything that I said I want to get in life, I want to get, right? But I also like, bro, I'm just thinking about like the young audience that follows me especially with some of y'all with a similar story as mine i want y'all to know this shit is possible bro this shit is fucking possible bro and sometimes it takes you looking from the outside in for other people's respect to see how far you made it okay like look where i'm at look where i'm at bro look at this place behind me you feel what i'm saying like i was washing my clothes in the fucking sink not even five years ago you know what i'm saying like my mama didn't have power we didn't have fucking water sometimes like my me my mom would just disappear for like two three weeks at a time and i wouldn't really even hear from her to now like my mom just texted me said she's coming over to my apartment on the 17th fucking floor in downtown fort lauderdale for thanksgiving i haven't had thanksgiving with my family dog fuck since i was in like high school you know what i'm saying like life can change it's just all takes you changing with it you feel me? You change, your life change. Your mindset change, you change. Your outcomes change. So, hopefully some of y'all taking away from this video, bro. I wanna show y'all change. Like, y'all make me want to work harder so y'all can wake up and hopefully get some motivation out of it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just be better. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all, y'all just don't make the same mistakes I did. You feel me? Cause I really do love y'all. Like I genuinely have love for y'all and I really just want to make a positive impact on hopefully y'all's lives. Cause I wish that I had that shit when I was younger. You feel me? So I'm not gonna sit here and keep rambling gang. I, I, I hope this YouTube video wasn't everywhere. Um, everything just kind of didn't go as planned in the beginning of the day, but we ended up pulling it back together. Um, and you know what I'm saying? I'm still settling. I hadn't even been here for four days yet. Um, so as time goes on, YouTube videos hopefully get a lot better. I got new lens coming. I got a new mic. I'm trying to upgrade my camera settings. Uh, and then I'm also just trying to like, just upgrade my content, make it better. And just hopefully just make it more enjoyable for y'all. So. Yeah, man, I appreciate for y'all following me to this journey and, you know, listen to me yap on this fucking balcony. That car sounds great. Um, like the video if you enjoy. Comment down below if you want to see more. Give me some ideas. Let me know some things you want to see. Challenge me. Challenge some, some obstacles you all want me to put me through to test my mental, to get me a better mental. So hopefully it makes y'all go out there and chase y'all's fucking, you know what I'm saying, your goals, gang. Chase y'all goals. You know what I'm saying? But I love all y'all so much, bro. Thank you, bro. Just fucking thank you, dog. I'm just so thankful. It's just insane. I love y'all so much, gang. Once again, I'll catch y'all in the next YouTube video. Peace.